Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. It's good to be back. I took a trip to Knoxville, Tennessee, and as you can probably tell, the voice isn't sounding the greatest. Probably about, I don't know, the day I left, Thursday, just a really bad head cold. And uh, really lasted throughout the whole weekend and uh, combined some yelling with that and doesn't really do your voice good. So my uh, 13 year old had a, his football team played in a, the Rocky Top National Championship Tournament, got beat in the semifinals. So they did really well and I'm um, very proud of them. Ended up losing to a team that was made up of all-star kids from Maryland, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania. And uh, their only loss was to that team. And that team lost to that team in the semifinals. And that team won the tournament championship. So, yeah, just yelling, yelling at, during the game. Um, but I really think most of it's just from this darn head cold. Just cannot shake it so won't be talking too much um which kind of might be a good thing so morning bumblebee Uh, yeah, Eddie, we're live streaming. I'm assuming Bumblebee, uh, you're in, right? And there is the bell. And the markets have been on a, a rip upward here in November. So VIX has really fallen. We'll have to see what uh, happens today, but a lot of red on the board today, which isn't a surprise. We got today and tomorrow, last two trading days before the Thanksgiving holiday. And so, eh, you know, I don't really like trading and going into holidays. I talk about it every year, you know, the holiday, the Thanksgiving break. And then shortly after that, it's the Christmas break. And sometimes it just isn't the best time to be trading, the best time of the year. So. With these next today and tomorrow, I'll just try to get in a few trades and get out kind of like a treat of Friday, really. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully everybody can hear. Might check your uh, audio settings if you if you can't, I guess. But uh, Nvidia announces earnings after market closes today, so that'll be interesting. One of the few uh, stocks that we trade um, that still needs to announce earnings.
A lot of red bars coming in here to start off. We'll, we'll trade the uh, three days to expiration today. Make sure you are position sizing appropriately so that when you place trades, you're okay if uh, it's a losing trade. Gonna let the old voice rest here in the next couple minutes and as we wait for that second bar. Let me get a second bar here in about uh, 15 seconds. And so we've had a few stocks flip to the green bar, a few in the red.
<clears throat> yeah, rookie trader, as mentioned before you got on, I had a massive head cold over the weekend and then was I was in Tennessee and then um also did a little bit of yelling at my son's football tournament that he participated in, so my voice is pretty shot, so probably ain't gonna be as talkative as as I normally am. Tesla getting close though. Thank you, Fireman Steve. <clears throat> so it looks like Tesla Tesla got there. So a little upside volume runner. See if we get a pullback. Um just looking at the three days dot expiration option chain. Uh, I would trade the 240 calls. It's got to give me a little bit of a pullback here, though. Man. I mean, it just took off. Uh, Tesla. It had an upside volume runner signal. I mean, he had a, made a minute pullback right as the bar finished. I was kind of hoping to come down just a little bit more. I was going to jump in, but no dice. Futures have stayed pretty flat. Well, at least the, the, the S&P has the Dow has fallen. Become a lot weaker. Yeah, Tesla went bye-bye. That's one of those where you'd have to just have almost jumped in right as this bar was closing, the second bar. Yeah, Tesla man just took off, darn it. So we'll look for some mighty 90s. Tesla may get another big bar. I do. Looks like it might get a big volume bar to the upside. Hey, pal, may get a volume bar to the downside. Wow, big push up and bite you. We will.
we'll see if it pulls back. Yeah, Tesla was another big bar. Okay, so Tesla, it's coming down here a little bit. I'll trade the two forty calls in Tesla. Try to get filled at Four bucks. Apple coming down to lows of day. Yeah, buy a big volume bar, no pullback. And Baidu has already got a big volume bar for the next one, so I'll we'll probably just stay away from that one. Some weird stuff going on there. Or at least I'll just monitor the price action to see what it's doing. Disney with a little mighty 90. Yeah, Roblox, not enough separation there. So canceling my Tesla pushed up. Oh. No, maybe I won't cancel it. It's acting like maybe maybe it might want to come out of it. Yeah, Disney kind of popped up already a little bit. Yeah, you can see like take a look at Disney and then look at the others you mentioned. It's just better better volume separation in, in Disney. S&P futures did crack through lows of day. All right, Tesla, you going to fill me here? Filled at four bucks in Tesla. That was the 240. Calls. You can actually get a better fill than me. Roblox not getting a volume bar as big as the first or a downside volume runner. If you want a smaller stock to trade. <laughs> I'll put an order in at 440 to close half my Tesla in case it pops up and I'm not looking. Roku with a nice mighty 90 here, maybe. But that, that price has to come down. 
and that bar can't get as big as the first. Got 30 seconds left, so uh, I'll close half at 440, 10%. That's not my close order. It's just what I would close half at. Yeah, so Roku, it's not going to get in this Mighty 90 until it comes all the way down. Filled at 440, close half of Tesla. That a boy, Tesla. Could have, could have had a better profit if I would have gotten filled like at 380, 390. But I thought, you know, we kind of guessed at four bucks. And but uh, for anybody that has a question about Mighty Nineties, take a look at Roku's volume. Like that is what I look for: the separation between um, this bar and the previous one. If it's just barely above it, that's just not really what I'm looking for. And you know you always want to get filled at its lowest point here if it's if you're going long. Yeah, Roblox downside volume runner. If you want a smaller stock, I, I wouldn't get in until it bounced up though. Baidu's doing crazy stuff. Big green bar, big red bar. Just staying away from that. Baba kind of setting up as a upside continuation runner. Push up, a little pause, coming down to yesterday's high. Keep an eye on that one. Okay, so Roku coming down now. So I am going to look now because it's come back down at that mighty 90 in Roku. I would trade the 92 calls in Roku. Try to jump in at a buck 75. Go to the buck seventy eight. So adjusted it a little bit on the ninety two calls. And I would close half at a buck ninety five. So I'll just put that in. And so I'll be looking for two green volume bars in consecutive. Boeing getting a potential upside volume runner. Boeing's got a full minute to get there, so. Build it a buck 95 to close half of Roku. I 
I would close uh, an order in at 480 to close another Tesla, 480. Build at 480 to close a quarter of my Tesla. And I got to get an order in Roku to close another. Let me close another Roku here at 225. Actually, I just need to get out of another one. Filled at 220 to get out of another Roku, a quarter of Roku. Man, it's good when you can get out of half and then uh, shed another one and you haven't even gotten a green bar yet. Ah, look at Baba. I mentioned upside continuation runner came down, popped up. Wasn't able to break through highs a day yet, though. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't get in it because it had a downside volume runner, then it had an upside volume runner. So when you when you see the inconsistencies, I tend to stay away from those. Yeah, but again, not a huge separation, and plus it's come down already. So, so Roku's still not given a green bar. But if you take a look at the Roku Mighty Ninety, I mean, this will hopefully help understanding when this when this bar the, the let's see would be the one two three four fifth bar pushed down through lows. And the previous bar was bigger than the third bar. That's where you want to get filled down low on a mighty 90. So like meta, yeah, I mean, it may have had a bar bigger than the previous, but it's not really a good separation. Plus price has already come down so much. I mean, Boeing looks more like a continuation runner push up. Um, price is pausing. I mean, this was a big green bar until the very end, and then it barely flipped red. So I would play this more on price action rather than volume. Things coming down here a little bit, at least Tesla's holding. That's interesting. Definitely good. So still waiting on two consecutive green bars in Roku. Yeah, Disney had a little bit of a mighty 90, but 
Glad I didn't take it. So still no green bar in Roku. Little Mighty 90 in Amazon, but price is really tight. Not much price movement there. I got an order in at 5.30 to close another Tesla. Trying to get out of another Tesla here. Build at 5.30. I have two Teslas left. Oh, Roku. I need to get an order in at Roku. I guess it's kind of up where I originally, where I got out of one, my last one. So I'll get out of another Roku at 2.30. Close another Roku. Looking for two consecutive green bars out of Roku. And I would close another Roku at 2.45. That's already there almost. Let's make it filled at 2.45. Yeah, filled at 2.45. Close another Roku. So, again, the Roku Mighty Ninety is 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 uh, a perfect model of what you're looking for in a Mighty Ninety. You get filled down here, and then. Comes back up, and you're waiting for two consecutive green bars. It's just beautiful, beautiful, mighty ninety. See, Boeing's still looking like it. It's consolidating, like it wants to go higher. I get out of another Roku at two sixty. For which strategy, rookie trader? Uh, you, you you look for two consecutive bars in that in the same direction, whichever way you're going. So I'm not really looking for a specific closing price. I'm looking for two consecutive bars. So in this case, I'm long. It's a long mighty 90, so I'm looking for two consecutive green bars.
Yeah. That that that's what I'm looking for when I'm in the trade. I'm looking for two consecutive green bars to like I'm I'm not gonna get out of the trade until I get two consecutive green bars. The only way I would get out is if I scale out because price is moving so much and I run out of contracts to scale out. A mighty 90 year, well, you want two consecutive bars in the direction you're going. So if it was a mighty 90 short, you want to wait for two consecutive red bars, then you close out. A mighty 90 long, two consecutive green bars, then you close out. Was another Tesla here. Build at 585, 585 to close. I have one Tesla left on this upside volume runner. So if, if Roku gets another green bar here, then I'm closing it. Uh, volume runner is you exit typically if price moves below where the, 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 where the big volume bar was so so take a look at the third volume bar that's that's the biggest volume bar where does price end i'm sorry where does price start about the 238 level there so again I, hopefully you're watching my screen so the official exit would be um if it pushes down below right at this point right here now in this case though i only have one contract left so, uh, you know, if it starts to pull back, I'll probably just cut my last one. <clears throat> so volume runner, you're always getting out wherever, if it, if it goes to the, where, where that point is, where that bar started, wherever that big volume bar was. Continuation runner at a key level. It depends what the key level is. So like Boeing, let's say, I got it. I got long right here. Okay. So if it pushed down below this key level, like where my line is right here, then that's where I would bail. It's actually a pretty good setup right there in Boeing for upside continuation. Benji, where would you have placed your stop? First off, I don't use stops. Do not use stops in um, these strategies on that Tesla entry. Below that closes pivot to entry or a certain price. Below that closes pivot, closest pivot, I'm assuming. Where would you have placed your stop on that Tesla entry? Okay, so again, look, look at my screen and see where my line is. The third bar, the third price bar where it started if price would have went below that. And I'm using that one because the third volume bar is where I got in because it was bigger than the previous, the first one. It's bigger than the first volume bar. Okay. So it started to pull back. It, it started to come down here. I jumped in. So let's just say, and this is what makes it a good trade. It's low risk because if I got in right here on this little pullback where my arrow is right now, and then all of a sudden it it starts flushing. Then I exit because it went below this price point where the price started on the third volume bar. Hopefully that makes sense. Good questions because it is important that you stay mechanical. You know, I mean, 
You, you don't want to be guessing when you're trading these strategies. So like Boeing, you know, like it would have been good to get long right about here. And like, I still might. But then if it pushes down below right here, I mean, it, you could be putting in the trade in a minute later, it starts flushing and then you're out. And it, it's small loss. So it's a low risk trade, right? So Tesla here. Again, I have one contract left. Which is a good thing. So I got to decide. If it starts to have a two or three bar pullback, do I want to stay in it and lose some profits? Because I only got one contract, or do I just want to, or do I just, or I just want to close it out? And, and, you know, a lot of that also depends on what's the market doing. Is it a strong market? Is it a weak market? Am I going with the market, or am I going against it? You know, Tesla's had a good push up here. It's not just going to keep going up forever and ever here today. So it wouldn't have been a bad thing for me just to close out my last contract. So Roku, again, has not given me two consecutive green bars. So I'm not getting out of it, even though it's coming down. Uh, NVIDIA, yes, had a little mighty 90. It did. But I want to see it come down. If it pushes down through lows here, then it might get long. You know, Boeing, well, why I'm not getting in it right now is because price range is so tight. Like the last 35 minutes, it just hasn't gone anywhere. See, Amazon had a little mighty 90 right here. And it's given two consecutive green bars. So I would have gotten out of it. Tight range, so probably wouldn't have been on much profit, but, it, you know, probably still would have been a profit, though. So Roku, I was really hoping it'd give me two green bars and then I could just bail on it. Goog? I mean, you don't get long after a big push-up like this. Um you know, if it starts to consolidate here and the market starts getting strong, yeah, potentially upside continuation. I mean, it's kind of, it kind of pushed up out of the gates, consolidated, pushed up, a little two bar consolidation pushed up. It's, it's one to keep an eye on for sure, but I wouldn't go long right now. Yeah, so Riot, this would be a mighty 90 as long as that bar is not bigger than the previous. And yes, you can see it's got, it looks like it's going to give two consecutive red bars. So that's where you would get out after that. If you played that like a mighty 90. Now, NVIDIA has earnings after market closes, so I would suspect at some point it's just going to chop until we get into earnings after the bell. So I'd like to see Roku um, here, you know, not come down anymore and just give me two nice push-ups and then I would exit.
who didn't didn't do what I wanted it there, but still gonna wait for two consecutive green bars. Maybe Tesla will take off here. It's kind of pausing. So NVIDIA is coming back down. I will see you, Fireman Steve. Square has a little mighty 90 as well, but again, it has a really tight range and price. So NVIDIA is coming down a little bit. It's had this mighty 90. So try one more mighty 90 for the day. Damn. NVIDIA getting, getting expensive. Meh, I'm gonna pass on Nvidia. I mean, I probably would only do two contracts in it, and it still would be above what my medium buying power normally is. The buying power has been slowly going from about twenty five hundred to. 3,000, 3,500. I've kind of noticed the last few weeks just catching myself going a little bit bigger than normal. Yeah, Boeing had a mighty 90 short. Yep, it's pretty good. The only the only thing, though, that I, I, the reason I wouldn't play it as a mighty 90 is because it's just not going anywhere. So if you look at um, my Roku, I mean, it pushed all the way down through lows of day. Or, you know, just touched through lows of day when I got in. Where Boeing is just at a standstill. So that's the difference. Square, on the other hand, you know, comes down through lows of day, might be a potential mighty 90, 90, even though it is a tight range, at least it's coming down through that key level. And honestly, um, NVIDIA still looks better. All right, I'm just going to jump in this NVIDIA. If it's too big for you, don't worry about it. 497.5 calls. Build at 1860. That's kind of giving me flashbacks to when we used to trade Amazon. When it was like 3,000.
So Trader Jim, why'd you get out of NVIDIA? yet? It hasn't given two green bars yet. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so don't take this wrong, but that's, you got to follow rules or don't, you, you can't expect to have profits because you'll miss, you'll miss profits if you do that. Um, I used to do that all the time. Oh, and, and, and this is why I don't even look at my P and L like, I, I, I know I'm down in NVIDIA right now, but I'm not, I'm not looking at it. And before I place the trade, I know I'm okay with it pushing down before I even place it. Now, I don't know if something has come out, some the Fed minutes or, or what, but everything kind of had a big push down for some reason. Thanks, Annette. But... I used to do that all the time, exactly what you just did there, Jim, all the time, all the time. And then I would be mad at myself once I saw that, oh, the stock I just panicked on ended up coming back and giving two consecutive bars and I would have gotten all those losses back, you know. So... Just make sure if you're comfortable getting in the trade, you're comfortable staying and following the rules. You will just find that's how you become more profitable. Now, Tesla, yeah, I've got one contract left and I've been sitting here holding it. And it's kind of coming down to where I probably should have bailed on it. Sometimes you get greedy and you hold on to a contract or two too long. And it, you know, it sucks some of your profits, and that's what this has done to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my Tesla. Filled at 415 to close Tesla. So and again, here's an example. I, I I closed my last contract in Tesla at 585. I didn't do a good job of kind of monitoring it as it's coming down here because it got all the way down to 415. Should have closed it out sooner. What MA on your volume are you using? What do you mean by what? what what's that acronym stand for? MA? Moving average. Uh, I'm not really sure what you're referring to. I mean, everything that is set up in here, and then I also have it set up in Thinkorswim is is through the courses that Steve, um, I mean, he, he shows you how to set up all your charts in the courses. So I just set the charts up like he's, you know, I've been doing this now for probably three years. And so it was three years ago <laughs> when I set up the charts based on what Steve put out in the course. So...
So if you go to the course, it will have everything you need to know about setting up your charts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a five-minute bar. I'm sorry. Easy question. Yeah, these are all five-minute bars. <laughs> Let's see, on the NVIDIA trade, is your risk on this trade your buying power used? Yes, that's correct. In the event NVIDIA keeps on going, and it might, but like normally, like I said, I would have probably added to NVIDIA by now. But sometimes you do, you get caught up in a flush and it hurts. No, nah, it's never happened. Never happened. I've never had, you know, if an, another 9 11 happened today, I've never not seen it throughout, not have two green consecutive bars. Again, there could be a black swan day where it's, you know, 9 11, COVID. But at some point, it will give me two green bars. Probably NVIDIA, you know, um, had, it has earnings today. So probably wasn't the best idea to jump in it just because it has earnings. Sometimes earnings affect things. Position sizing is always what's critical. I mean, you got to position size to be able to take, take you know, for something like this to happen. So Roku, that's, you know, you can look here. Still has not given me two consecutive green bars. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and add to my Nvidia. Build it sixteen seventy five to add. Okay, so here's why I added to it. First off, it's it's pushed down well below where my initial entry was. So it's come down about a little over ten percent. And so usually if it comes down about 10% from my initial entry, I will add also, excuse me, oh, sorry, I had a cough there. Also, it has come down to yesterday's key level of yesterday's low. <clears throat> So I am wanting to see a bounce off yesterday's low and give me at least two green bars. <sighs> oh, man, sorry about that. A little coughing spell. Uh, it's just a key. That's what we call a key level. Yesterday's low. It's the same thing with these pivots. The blue line, yes, uh, yesterday's high. They're all key levels.
Okay. So after adding to it. All right. Thanks, Jess. We're good then. So after adding to it, I'm going to go ahead and put in a cl uh, close half of it at 1840, which is 10% of my ad. And it's also just a little under where I, my original entry was. Okay, Roku. Let's take a look at it. Mighty 90 was way back here. Got out of half. Got out of a quarter three times. But then it came back down. Still had not given two consecutive bars. If this bar flips green at the end here, I will get out of it. It does not look like it's going to turn green, though. No, oh, maybe it will. No, it didn't turn green. So I'm just going to hold. That's yeah, close, though.
and you don't wait for two green bars. That's where you miss out on profits. So I would have missed on profits. And I, and I did this a lot when I first started trading these the mighty 90 strategy. But I didn't look at I didn't look at my PL until I just closed the trade. And so Benji, if you see that too, like I, I knew it would give me two consecutive green bars at some point. I mean, it just it's not gonna go down forever. Is 210 a big winner? I mean, for me, not really. I mean, it's it's an okay winner. It's an average winner. But any any green is better than a red, you know. Right. That, that's why I exited Nvidia Bubble B. That's just what I was saying. And and I exited when it was pushing up at the top. I didn't want it. I didn't want the last couple of minutes to have it pull back on me. Now. Hell, it, it may rip up the highs of day. Who knows? But I ain't going to take the chance. You know, it's kind of been a weak market today. And, um, you know, Microsoft's pushing down through lows. I could see it rolling over. So I'm not going to give it any more time. I'm, I got my two green bars. I'm out. But my whole point is, is this is why you stay mechanical. I would have missed profits there if I didn't. So one thing I got left is Roku. So it just gave me a green bar. I'm going to stay on five more minutes here. It's 940 so Central Time. So I really don't take any trades this late. Um, as I'm looking at just price movement, Apple looks like it might want to roll over and go lower. Um, you know, Roku, I got out of a lot of my contracts already. We got four contracts left. <clears throat> yeah, no problem. That's what I'm here for. So I got four contracts in Roku. Um, You know, the rule is to stay till two green bars. Sometimes when you get impatient and then, you know, you take a look at Roku's range here, it's just been really tight. Yeah, maybe I should just bail on my last four contracts. Um, you know, NVIDIA is trying to continue higher. I will look at other 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 stocks, similar stocks, and look at price movement to kind of see what they're doing. Make a decision whether I should get out of my last one here or not when it gets to be this time of the day. Nice job, Disco. No problem, Trader Jim. I mean, so so Roku. I mean, and man, maybe it'll give me two green bars here. They got one here, so maybe. I, Maybe I can exit here after this green bar here. But I have a winning trade in Tesla. Real nice winning trade. Would have been a lot better if I would have just got rid of my last contract up here at the top instead of setting to this pullback. I got a winning Mighty 90 in NVIDIA. And a potentially winning uh, Mighty 90 in Roku here. So 3-0. That's what we want, right? Following rules. Thanks, be more trader. We'll catch you tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully I'm sounding better tomorrow. So Roku. I originally got in. At a dollar seventy-eight, so it's currently setting at about a dollar eighty to dollar eighty-five. So it's above where I originally got in. So this is going to be a green, uh, a positive trade. So I'm going to go three and zero today by following rules to these mighty nineties and waiting until I got two consecutive green bars in Nvidia and now two consecutive green bars in Roku. Can't stress enough to. 
not look at your PNL position size so you won't have anxiety and follow rules. All right, I'm gonna close out my Roku here. Got about a minute left. It's again, it's pushing up as well, like NVIDIA did. I don't want it to come back down on me. Hold it a buck eighty-eight. Let's close Roku. So I'm out of everything. I will see everyone tomorrow. Hope you have a good one. Peace.